Have you heard the expression, the poor are getting poorer while the rich keep getting richer? It's not a simple term though. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Even though millions of individuals are escaping poverty and even becoming millionaires, it still exists. The majority of individuals never succeed. The combined wealth of America's 614 billionaires will top $3 trillion in 2022. The people who stood to gain the most from the stimulus plan were billionaires, despite its being intended to aid average Americans. In the end, the majority of people used that money to buy basics or things from Amazon. I suppose the stimulus plan main winner was Bezos. He no longer serves as CEO of Amazon, but he remains the company's largest individual shareholder. But in this video, I want to concentrate on the issue of how to escape poverty. If you were born into a low-income family, what should you do? You are not to blame. How do you actually accumulate wealth and achieve financial independence? If you give this video a thumbs up and merely leave a comment, we'll answer all of them plus a lot more. What you enter there is unimportant. Simply say, I'm interested in how well this video will do if people comment. Simply make whatever comments you desire, I'll answer each and every comment left on this video. I swear. Now, let's get started. Step number one, understand that no one will help you except yourself. Being able to get assistance from someone is wonderful. Nobody actually cares about you except for yourself, whether it's the government or your parents. Your parents undoubtedly desire for you to live a better life. However, they aren't always able to give you that chance and if they were raised in a low-income home, it's highly unlikely that they could offer you sound financial advice. If not, they would have escaped that predicament long ago. People who are having financial difficulties always point the finger at someone, typically the government, which is meant to look out for them. I'm not arguing that the government shouldn't look after you, but you'll have to wait a while if you depend on outside causes. You have to be very certain that you can help yourself more than anyone else can. That is the first step in bringing about significant change. Step number two, don't accept a low paying position. I have nothing against finding work. In fact, taking a low paying job as a teenager is a great opportunity to teach yourself the fundamentals of business and finance and develop money management skills. However, the majority of people fall into the trap of low paying employment and never escape it. Every cent counts and every dollar counts when you're growing up poor and you have few needs and wants. A few thousand dollars will allow you to get anything you want. All you need is a decent roof over your head, some wholesome food, and modern convenience that everyone else enjoys. Therefore, when you land your first job as a teenager, it gives you the money you need to cover those expenses. But in exchange, you have to give up most of your free time. As a result, you'll find yourself trapped in a job where you simply spend the entire day without learning the skills you need to improve your income year after year, but which at least meet your fundamental necessities. A low-paying job provides you with immediate gratification but very little long-term value. You can soon earn enough money to be able to acquire the newest iPhone, finance a car, and go out with your friends. However, you won't have the luxury of free time to improve yourself and make your time more worthwhile in the long term. You must therefore learn to withhold gratification for yourself. Starting a workout routine is the best way to do that. No one, regardless of their circumstances, will see any improvement after attending the gym just once, twice, or for a whole month. Real progress only occurs after going to the gym for several months, at least three to four times each week. If you want to notice a noticeable difference, you may need to go to the gym for several years. You will learn from that experience how to work hard for something you will acquire in the future. Step number three, have a well-defined strategy. Without a strategy for achieving financial independence, you will remain in poverty for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter how long it will take to achieve that goal. You won't have the discipline to save money and make investments if you don't have a strategy. For example, suppose you spend $50,000 a year, you are wasting your time if you don't know how to generate a passive income of $50,000. However, how does one go about doing this? Here's the main idea, but we have covered that in prior videos. You must invest in assets that generate income over time, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, or businesses that require little management. For instance, a 200k house might be rented for 2k per month or 24,000 per year. Therefore, in order for you to achieve financial freedom, you must at the very least buy two houses that will generate an annual rental income of $48,000. That is merely one approach. There are countless additional options. For a mortgage, for instance, let your tenants pay it so that each property generates a small amount of cash flow. 
or you may think about investing in stocks where you can anticipate a 10% rate of return over time. Whatever the plan is, as long as it is implemented and appears to have a fair probability of success, that is all that matters. It is up to you whether you decide to save 10% or 90% of your salary to make it there. However, the majority of people are going to say that their income only just meets their expenses. How am I going to invest and save that much money? That is why step number 4 is necessary. Step number 4. Concentrate on educating yourself. It is impossible to envision making $200,000 or even half a million or a million dollars if your annual income is only $50,000. Consider that you're contrasting those millions of dollars with your present salary. If you're making $20 per hour, you would need to be making at least $250 assuming that you work 12 hours per day in order to reach a 7-figure mark. However, it would appear that no one would be willing to pay you that much for such a position. That doesn't mean there aren't other ways to make that much money though. The only issue is that you have to figure out how there are people who make far more than that. You must therefore educate yourself. However, you won't be able to achieve that if you devote all of your time to low-paying work. So what should you do? Either find extra time when your job is done, like I did back then, or minimize your expenses and make some sacrifices for yourself so they can work less to pay the bills which will give you more time to work on yourself. If you're just getting started, pick up some books, watch my videos on investing or making money, identify your abilities, understand how the newest technology operates, and begin working in that industry. Although it won't happen right away, keep in mind that you're in it for the long haul. Step number 5. Create a time-consuming but effective routine. It's time to establish a routine after you have a workable plan. Forget about experiencing new things every day. Without a routine, it is impossible to be productive. It's absurd to live the life you see on Instagram. Believe me, nearly no one who earns real money ever leads that lifestyle. The life of a wealthy individual is incredibly dull. Yes, it is tedious but it works. You make significant improvement if you get up at the same time every day and do the same thing repeatedly over an extended period of time, which might be years. Keep in mind the gym is an example. Regular gym attendance and repetition of the same exercises will help you develop a great body. Yes, you occasionally experiment with new tools but overall your routine remains quite unchanged. You work out your shoulders, biceps, chest, and back at least once every week. You begin to notice the results of your labor after 2 or 3 years of going to the gym 3 to 4 times a week. Everything in life operates that way, including riches. Therefore, don't feel bad when you pursue your Instagram account. Just concentrate on your strengths. We are not given a choice at our birth. While some of us are fortunate enough to be wealthy from birth, others are not. If you are born poor, it's not your fault. Nevertheless, if you continue to be poor for the rest of your life, it's your choice. As a wise man once said, it's not how you start that's important but how you finish. Of course, conditions vary from nation to nation. Being poor in a developed nation like the US is different from being born in the midst of the Sahara where there is no infrastructure to allow you to begin accumulating money. With the development of the internet, that has changed, allowing you to learn from anywhere and even start a full-fledged business online. That's all for now, we hope you enjoyed yourselves and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Click on our previous videos and learn how to obtain millionaire status in 2022, the simple guide. Or click on investing in stocks for beginners to keep your knowledge growing.